so here it comes, live from the Gospel Chapel U group, The Price is Right. It's the lucky jar. Five people's going to get lucky right about now. All right, first person. <laughs> William, come on down. Second person. Now, that's what I call ironic here. Dante, come on down. All right, so we got two seniors right here, 12th graders already. Third person. Eli, come on down! Can you feel the tension? I mean, you're on your head to your seat. All right, Duran, come on down! One more for this round. the Lone Ranger, it's a good thing that she's brave. Bratisha, come on down! All right, we'll cap the lucky jar. The rest of y'all stay tuned. And now, without further ado, the best game show host in the world, if you didn't know it, he lives on Spanish Whale Farmers. Our host, Adam! All right, good evening. Welcome to The Price is Right. Let's give a big hand to our announcer for the evening, Brenda! All right, we want a crowd, what a crowd. All right. Now, let's get this game underway right off. Now, this is Christian Price is Right. This is not the normal Price is Right. Normally, they bring out an item at the first for you to bid on, and you have to try to guess the, as close as you can without going over. But we're not doing that. With our version, it's a number or a statistic or a figure from out of the Bible or to do with the Bible. So you're trying to guess as close as you can without going over. All right. So let's get this game underway. Let's give them something to bid on because we want to get right started off winning prizes, right? Am I right? Let me yes. hear it. Hey. Yeah. All right, so Brendan is the announcer. Brendan's got the first number. Brendan, tell these guys what do they have to try to bid on to try to win their way up front. All right, so we all know that God sent his son Jesus to earth to go all the way to the cross to pay for the sins of the whole world, right? But what we want you guys to try and guess is this. How many times in the King James Bible does the name of Jesus appear? And of course, none of us probably really know. That's why it's fun. We're going to guess, right? How many times? And it's not technically in the Old Testament, Jesus, the word. So we'll narrow it down, Matthew to Revelation. So it's just the New Testament. How many times do you think it appears? Adam? All right. Thank you, Brendan. Yes, the one who bids the closest to the number of times that Jesus is in the King James Bible from Matthew to Revelation, it's the winner, and we'll come up front. So, so let's get it started. We're going to take the first bid from Dante, my friend here. What do you think is the number of times in the King James Bible that the word from Matthew to Revelation, Jesus, appears? Seventy? All right. And William? One sixty-four, yeah. Y'all can listen at the crowd. I told you they can get involved. All right. All right, we do you, buddy. 365, 365 days a year. You don't have to, but you're just bidding. You're trying to be the closest without going over to, to the right answer. How many times in the entire King James Bible? 64? All right. Bratisha? Bratisha? 
75. All right, we got all our bids locked in. Now, let's find out the actual number of times that the name of Jesus appears in the King James Bible. 983 times. A lot. And if I'm not mistaken, my boy Eli is the man. Eli, you want to come up front, buddy? Come on out, man. All right, so he plays the first game of the night. Okay, now, do you have you ever watched The Price is Right? Any amount? No. All right, well, let me ask somebody else, somebody who does watch it. What's the fan favorite game? What's the game everybody wants to play? Plinko. Plinko. Well, I'm sorry to say we're not doing Plinko tonight. Can I get a, aww. Sad day, sad day. We're not doing Plinko. But guess what? We ain't got time to worry about Plinko. No, uh not when you hear the news. Brandon's got to tell you. Tell him, Brandon. We started off the night, Eli. You got a chance to win cash. All right. Might not be the cash like what's on the prices, right? But this, you can go home richer tonight, all right? Up to $25 in cash. Hey, I know they started having male models on the show now, but... Hey, who's in favor of Welly um, being a model for the rest of the night? Huh? Well, you might be, you, you might, you might have opened a can of worms there, buddy. You don't know what you got yourself into. All right, all right, come on up, buddy. We are going to play this game now called the Grand Game. And yes, you can win top prize, yes, $25, but, sounds good, right? But you, got, you can start with that. We got to start you with just one dollar. Move, move him down, if you would, please, shall we? Oh, just like that. Well, all right. He says he don't want that. We're going we're gonna to work your way up. We're going to build up from that. Deanne, show him what is the target price, how he could build up. Six dollars. That's right. Now, we got six products here on this counter, right, on these different counters. If you want to build your bank back up to the 25 bucks, you got to pick out the four items that are less than six dollars. You pick them out one at a time. All right, now, one at a time, you're going to pick them out. Hold on, guys. Let's, you don't want to? So you're going so to forget your $25 then? No, I don't want to listen to the audience. Oh, he don't want to listen to you guys. He, he, no, you can leave that. Yeah. He don't trust you all. All right. Now, before we get started letting you pick, we're going to just let Brandon go over it and tell you. Brandon, tell us what the items are, okay? All right. First up, as you can see, we got a five-pound bag of Mahatma rice. And if you like me, you love rice. I could eat it for breakfast. Then we have a 24-ounce bottle of pancake syrup. Then it's a can of Deep Woods Off. So if you want the bugs to stay away, that's your thing. Moving right along, we got a 5.8 ounce tube of Kraft toothpaste. Next, it's a 19 ounce box of Frosted Flakes. And finally, a 23 ounce can of Arizona Sweet Tea. All right, that's your items. Now, one at a time, you start picking out anything that you think is less than $6, and we move you up. Every Sweet tea, so I think that's probably a safe bet. Let's see, let's open that up and see. $1.85. All right, somebody move him up to $3, please. No, not there. Not there. Eli, you better listen to him. All right, you, you up to three bucks. All right, right on boy, that's, that's the Mahatma rice. Hey, hey, 410. Give that guy an increase, man. $5. All right, what's less than, what's less than $6? Toothpaste. The toothpaste. Let's see. All right. Get in there. Get in there, but it's under. So, all right. Yeah, move it. All right, now, guess what? You're up to 10 bucks. Now, we got to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Here's how this game works. Yeah, child's saying keep going. You, you know how this goes, right? You can walk away now and take your $10 and stop. Brandon, in fact, Brandon, show him. Brandon's got it right here. He don't want that. 
here's the deal. If you go for 25, you got to pick the one last item that's under $6. That's if, if you get it, so you're going. Yes, sir. You lose it all if you're I'll wrong. All. all right. He's, he's going for it, guys. Is he going to get it? The syrup. He says the syrup. Boy, this is exciting now, eh? I, tell you so. I mean, what would you even do with, t with $25? I'll go rich. All right, all right. Let's do it. Yay! Yeah! All right. Brandon's got your cash right there, man. Get Let's just check and see. Off, oh, 750. Cereal, 635. All right. All right, curtain, please. All right, have a seat. You will be back to spin the wheel later, buddy. You'll spin the wheel. You could possibly be in the showcase at the end of the show. All right, guys, thanks for playing. We got consolation prizes for all four of you. That is how I like to start the show. All right, could we get the screen back down, please? We're going to show some clips. Um, Chas, you say you like Bob Barker, right? Bob Barker was my boy. He used to host The Price is Right before Drew took over. Drew, the, the guy, the, the glasses. But we're going to show some very hilarious clips tonight from past years of The Price is Right. Starting with, we're going to show a clip of a lady who got a little, shall we say, overexcited when, when she played the same grand game. Let's see. Let's have it. Let's see the first clip, please. Yes, I think she got that lower rib on the left side. <laughs> Be very gentle with me, Pauline. Be very gentle with me, because I have something to show you that I think is going to cause great excitement on this stage. Now, before I show it to you, I want you to promise that you will not hurt me. If it's a car, I, won't. I might just kill you. What? If it's a car, I'll kill you. If it's a car, you'll kill me. Well, fortunately, Fortunately, it is not a car. However, it is every bit as nice as a car. Now, if I show you this prize, you are not going to kill me, are you? And you're not even going to do me bodily harm, are you? Right. 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 You promise, don't promise. you? I okay. Promise. Okay. Show her what she has a chance to win. A chance to win up to $10,000! Now, if I open that, and that is less than a dollar nine, you win ten thousand oh, no. dollars. Now, yeah, she says, "Let me move back. I might hurt you." That's, a, that's exactly what I was going to discuss with you. All right, it is eighty-seven. Give her ten thousand dollars. Move it up there. for you and I would have let you grab me but I didn't want you to have to spend your ten thousand on my hospital bill I wouldn't mind it. You can do. thank oh. you very much go over there and pick up your check Pauline congratulations maybe we can let Brendan call the next um, five contestants that's a plan right there <laughs> this is exciting stuff right here back to the lucky jar guys here we go Colby, come on down! All right! Hmm. Ogans, come on down! All right! 
Bitsy, come on down. Hey. We've seen this person today, and he was already exciting. So Nash, come on down. And one more. And one more to join Mitzi because we don't want her to be alone. Darlena, come on down. All right. All right. We got our next five people to try to bid for the next next game. Uh, Brendan, you got a number ready for him to try to guess? We got a number, num another number. Blah. So check it out, guys. Our first bid was about. Jesus and how many times his name appears in the New Testament. So now, at the time when Jesus came and lived on earth, the Jewish people didn't have the New Testament as we do today because all the events in the New Testament were just occurring then, all right? So their scripture consisted of what we call the Old Testament, all right? So we shifting gears here. Well, many times in the New Testament, the writers could make quotes or references from books of the Old Testament, since that was the only scripture, all right, at the time. So follow me here. In fact, just for fun, we can throw this out to everybody before we ask these. Listen up. Anybody want to try guess which book of the Old Testament do you think gets quoted from or referenced the most in the New Testament? Anybody? Shout it out. All right, I heard Isaiah in the back, and that's a winner. Isaiah is number one, all right? All right, now for you guys, all right? What we want y'all to guess is this. How many times in the New Testament, Matthew to Revelation, do you think the book of Isaiah gets quoted? How many times? How many times? All right, Brendan's just told you it's the most Quoted book in the whole, most quoted book in the whole Old Testament to be quoted in the New Testament. How many quotes from Isaiah do you think there are in the new pages of the New Testament from Matthew to Revelation? All right, what do you think, Toby? 52. Right. 156. Go on, Mitzi. 75. Uh, but, pardon me. 65. And you? 60. All right. Now. All right, you guys are going to be surprised at this. You're not going to believe how many um, quotes it is from Isaiah. The actual number of Isaiah quotes in the New Testament is 419. 419. And uh, 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 all, all guns, right? It's all guns. All guns got it. Yeah, boys. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So now you got to play the win song. All right. All right, then. Let's, that was an exciting win for the first game, right? Yeah. We want to keep the momentum going. Um, do we have something that Algans could win, too? We do have something that Algans could win. It's a portable speaker. Check that out, eh? This portable speaker is perfect for taking to the beach, work, or wherever you want to go to have some do. A built-in handle makes it super easy to take on the go. The input jack allows you to connect to your phone, tablet, or other external devices to play your music through the speaker on this system. It also contains a built-in AM, FM radio. Back to you, Adam. All right, let's see what game he's playing now. To win this speaker system, where's my, um, well, he's so busy trying to be a model, he's forgetting he's supposed to be a stagehand first and foremost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, we got a game. Come on up, man. We're playing a game called um, Secret Acts. This easy, man. This light stuff. All right. You're trying to get three in a row, tic-tac-toe. All right. But you see down the center column, we got these question marks. You don't know where, but somewhere. It's either on the top, on the middle, on the bottom. You don't know where. It's a secret X. The secret X. You all don't know where. He don't know where. It's behind either the top, the middle, or the bottom. 
What you have to do, you got to get three in a row. You got to get three in a row X's. But one of them has to be the secret X, all right? So it's got to be three in a row with the secret X being one. Now, it's four good ways that you could do it. Cross the top, cross the bottom, or diagonally, either one of the two ways. All right, so to start you off, Brendan, we got to give him his, his first X tile. There you go. All right, you get one X for free, and you get to put that on any one of the yellow spaces where you think it could help you make three in a row with the secret act. We're going to try to give you two more. That's a perfect place for it. Perfect, yep. Now, you're trying to win two more, and to do that, we got to deal with some of these prizes over here. Brendan, show him, show him the prizes that's going to help him win another X or two. First of all, this four-piece stainless steel barbecue set includes a fork, tongs, spatula, and a brush. Unfortunately, each tool features a New England Patriots logo. Boo, boo, boo. Hey, 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 hey. And it is, hey. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a perfect way to show your team, if you vote for that team, sorry, pride <laughs> on game day. And secondly, secondly, we have a relaxed fit pair of sketches that provide a roomy, comfortable fit. The air-cooled memory foam cushions dirty foot and fat. Enjoy cloud-like comfort while looking stylish wearing sketches. Adam? All right, thanks, Brandon. Let's see, all right, let's see. Show him the barbecue set again, because he's got to tell us the... We don't want to see that? Now, you got to tell us. You see on the poster board, it's two prices listed there. Is the post the barbecue set $43 or is it $58? Four piece and it's got the authentic Patriots logo. I don't know whether that brings down the value or what. Homeboy oh says $58. Let's flip it around and see if he's right. Yes! That's an expensive set. Guess what? I know some people, I know some people wouldn't give 58 cents for that, but not with the Patriots. <laughs> All right. Give me. Thank you. All right, you got yourself another axe, buddy. You got yourself another axe. Now place that on one of the yellow squares. Yeah. All right, all right. So that means if the, if the secret axe is in the center, you're already a winner. But we could give you, no, wait, wait. We could give you another way to win. Let's do the shoes now. The sketch, the sketch of shoes. 88 or 110? 88. 88. 88. Flip it. Let's see. Start. Yes. Give him his next X tile, my boy. All right. So, there you go. You, you could win a second way now. Where you want it? No, no, you can't put it in the set. You got to put it in one of the yellow squares. Which corner? There's two corners left. All right. All right, so he's got, he's got the middle and the bottom locked down. You want to get it over with? You want to flip the top one over first? If it's not in the top, if the secret X is not up there, we know you win. Let's get it over with. Let's see. Is there a secret X under here? He's got it. He's got it. All right. Let's see. Where was it? All right. You had it from the get-go. All right. Get the dude the, um, the speaker, man. He want a speaker. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, man. All right. Man, we just giving away stuff tonight, man. All right, curtain, please. Y'all see me after the night. I got yes, points. anybody who caught, who won their way up front, but did not win the game, the bid, got a consolation prize. Uh, now, Eli and Algins will be facing off in the showcase showdown. One of them, too, is going to the showcase at the end of the show to hopefully win some good stuff. It's according to which one of those two spins the highest score on the wheel. But we're going to do that right after we get this clip. Finally, travel crocodile Dennis from Milton Bradley. Watch out. You never know when that croc will snap. It's a, it's a, it's a mouthful of fun on the run. <laughs> that thing got her. <laughs> that scared you, too, didn't it? <laughs> that scared you. I love it. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> you have to win another chance. Do you want to tell me the price of the watch, the hair dryer, or the game? 
Um, the what? I warned you to take the game. It might have been the game. Uh, the game. She's going with the game. Now, wait. In order for her to make a good judgment of the price of the game, show her again how those teeth work. You, now, wait, what? You never know which tooth that you push down is going to make him snap. So uh, now you push a tooth over there. Okay, now I push one here. Okay. Ah! 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 It's funnier when you do it. Yeah, man, this is our Wheel of Fortune wheel, but it also doubles us. The price is right, uh, big wheel. Now, let me just explain. All right, you see we got these amounts all on it in uh, multiples of five, different um, like five cents, 15 cents, right up through to a dollar. You try to spin the wheel, you allow two spins maximum, Eli and Augins. You allow two spins. You don't have to take your second spin. You could spin the first time and stop. It's whichever one of you is the closest to $1 without going over, all right? If you get your first spin and it's high enough and you don't want to spin again, you could stay on the amount that you get because if you take the second spin and you go over a dollar, you automatically out, okay? So you are just trying to decide, do you want to spin again on the first spin or stay on that total and hope that the other person does not beat you? Oh, but let's make this really interesting. How do you want to pick up some cash? Eli's already picked up $25. You want to pick up, you can pick up some cash on this wheel too. If one of you manages to spin exactly $1 in the one spin or gets a total of $1 between the two spins, you get $5 cash. Brendan's got it for you right there. $5, that's all you got to do. $1 or, or $1 in two spins combined. And we get, give you a bonus spin. So then in your bonus spin, if you land on one of these two yellow numbers, the 5 or the 15, we'll give you another $5. You'll have a total of 10. But on the, in the bonus spin, if you could land exactly on the $1 space, we'll give you $10 more. You'll have a total of $15, all right? So uh, let's see who, all right, Eli, you come on up first, man. No? Why not, man? We want to get you into the showcase, man. We want to get one of you two into the showcase. We got to see which one it is. All right, stand right here. Right. And give the wheel a spin. Remember, you're trying to be the closest to $1 without going over. This is Price is Right. This ain't the Wheel of Fortune wheel, buddy. Forget the past, man. You, you, your luck's changing. You got $25 already. Got to go all the way around or it doesn't count. All right, all right, 15 it went all the way around, so that counts. 15. Now, you don't want to stay on 15, do you? I'd say take your second spin. It's got to go all the way around or it doesn't count. All right, so anything as long as it's under 85. 85 and under. All right, 15, and what you get will be added to 15. Let's go. 15 plus. Oh! 95. He's out. Man. <laughs> That's a dollar ten. Yeah, he's out. So Augins don't even have to spin except to try to get. Um, you give. We'll give you one spin to try to get the dollar. One spin to try to get the dollar. Sorry about that, man. Just give one spin, and if it lands on the dollar, you got to get it all the way around, though. No man, no man. Spin that, man. Let. Yeah, that's it. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. Oh, almost, almost. But don't worry, you are going into the, to the showcase at the end of the show. All right, have a seat, buddy. He's the winner of the showcase. All right, so we got the first half of the show out of the way. We know Algens is going to the showcase, but we need to find out. We got to find him another competitor to go along with him to the showcase. So we're going to play a few more games here, and that means we got to call a few more names. You all ready? There you go. You start with a girl this time. Chloe, come on down. Hey! Chandler, come on down. There you go.
These five are the next five. One of you five is going to be playing the next game and spinning the wheel later. One of you five could possibly be going to the showcase at the end of the show to face off against Algon. But we need a number for him to try to guess first. You ready? Ready. ready. All right. All right, guys. I'm sure we all remember the story of Joseph and his brothers and how they sold him into slavery in Egypt, right? We all know that story. But God set it up that he eventually became second in command of Egypt behind, of course, Pharaoh. So, and if you remember, because of a terrible famine, Joseph moved his entire family down to Egypt to live, and that's where they grew and multiplied as a people. Listen up. If you recall, relations between the Egyptians and the Hebrews didn't stay on good terms, and a new Pharaoh eventually made all the Hebrew people become slaves in the land of Egypt. That's when God sent Moses on his behalf to persuade Pharaoh to let the Israelites go free. And only after a series of how many plagues? Anybody know? How many plagues? How many plagues? Ten plagues, you yes, go. you all help me out. Upon Egypt did Pharaoh finally give in and let the Israelites go. Well, in the Bible... It actually tells us the number of years the children of Israel had been living in Egypt before Pharaoh let them go. That's what we want you all to try and guess tonight. How many years had God's people dwelt in Egypt? From the time Joseph's family moved there until they were released after the ten plagues. Okay, so that's what you're guessing. The time from when Joseph moved the family down near the end of Genesis... Till they were delivered through the 10th um, plague and the Passover and Exodus. All right. I hear, I hear a lot of suggestions. That's fine. Go on. It, whatever you but, but that's, how many do you think, how many years had, had the, the Israelite people been living there? All right. We got the first bid, 95. Pardon me? 100. All right. 105. Okay. We're going up by fives. 400. And 401. Oh man, yeah. He took that. He took that away. Took that right away from you. All right. I will say this: the girls thought low, the guys thought high, and it was the guys who were right to think so. The 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 get this: the number of years that the people of Israel were in bondage. Well, not in bondage, but they were dwelling there the, all this time was 430. Who said that out there in the audience? Somebody yeah. said it. Somebody knew it exactly. Nathan, man, very good. Buddy, are you stoked now? You won your way up front. Connor is the winner. He come the closest yeah. to that boy. Oh. Come on up, buddy. Race the screen. Race. We got to get a new game. All right, so Connor's got it. All right. What we got back there, we've been winning every game so far. I want to see Connor win something, too. Let's see it. All right, it's an iTunes gift card. Oh, man. Redeem this iTunes gift card for up to $15. $15 for the music app and more in the Apple iTunes store. Take it away, Adam. iTunes card. Okay. So, we're bringing back a game that was done last time we did it. Do you all, anybody was here last time, do you all remember the, um, this game? The Mountain Man? The Yodeling Mountain Guy. All right, actually, they've got it out pretty far, so we'll, we can stay right down here. We can do it from right down here. We don't have to come up. 
Yeah, it's a lovely, ah. Actually, that, plop, that prop is Welly's handiwork, man. So I think it's only fitting that Welly gets to operate it. I don't need to explain it because I'm pretty sure Connor knows, but I'm going to tell you all how it goes. This guy, the mountain climber, as you can see, it's 25 steps up to the top of the mountain. And if he falls off the edge, off the 25th step, Connor here loses the game. We're trying to keep him on the mountain. How do we do that? All right, we got three items over there that one at a time you're going to have to tell us the price of. For every dollar that you are off from the right price, the yodely guy will take one step up the mountain for every dollar. So in other words, you're trying to be as close as possible with your guesses. You're trying to be as close as you can to make him move as little as possible. All right, everybody understand? You got it? All right, well, let's find out what's the three items, uh, Shelly, Brendan. First, Connor, we have a set of dominoes. It contains 28 double six color dot dominoes and a starter piece. And the tin is ideal for game storage when you're done. All there right, secondly, this 1.2 quart coffee press brews over 38 ounces of coffee Retaining the beans oil for rich, complex flavor. It has a sturdy stainless steel frame and a coffee scoop is included. Finally, this portable wireless speaker is compatible with Bluetooth and offers up to three to four hours of play and talk time. Enjoy wireless listening and calls in high quality, a three and a half millimeter auxiliary cable if in all right, I guess that's it. But let's see, first off, the dominoes is the first item. Let's see how much Connor would say that they are. Hold, hold the dominoes here for him. How much do you think is the, the pack of dominoes, the tin of dominoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah you all hey. screaming at How? I'm hearing all kinds, but you got. He says it's $10. Is it right that it's 10 no, now leave the card. We are going to see how far off that gas will take the mountain climber. Go ahead, buddy. Wow. There you go. There you go. One dollar. Let's, let's show the price. Good job. Wow. Nine dollars. So there you go. All right. Now, the coffee, coffee press. I don't drink coffee. Don't help him out. $20, he says. Is that correct? Okay, so, hey, feel free to clap along to the song, guys, man. Let's go. Let's see how far he goes this time. Oh. Woo! Nice. All right, he's on six. He's on six, so you must have missed it. Five. What is the price? 25 Buddy, you 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 good has got this card, man. You got it. He's um, 19 steps. You could be 19 off and still win this. All right, 19 dollars high or low. What is the price of the little portable? I think I'm hearing 25, boy. I'm hearing 35, 35 and 27. Oh, he's going with Miss Adele, boy. All right, 25? <laughs> 25. No, it's not 25. Now, let's see what happens. There he goes. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, he's getting off from near the top, man. Hey, 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 stop, stop. Hey, hey. Price, man. 45. Oh, man. Man, you missed it by one. one. Just one. By Only one. one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. But we do have a consolation prize for you, though. But, and you will be back to spin the wheel. You will spin the wheel. All right. Let's go. That's, uh, thank you for playing, buddy.
All right, curtain, please. Sorry about that, man. This next clip goes right along with the yodeling guy that we just, the game that we just played. If there's one thing I could say for this next clip, it's just that old people are awesome. They're just awesome, man. You just, you watch this clip and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, now, Walter, what do you believe is the price of that pottery wheel? Just the pottery wheel. Tell me, Walter. $25. $25. Is that right? No. Now, he'll move one step for every dollar you miss the price. Now, wait, wait. I like... What? I don't want to wish him bad luck, but I wish it had gone. That was Walter. That was not, uh, you know... Do that again. Hello, at home, at home, they probably thought that was our tape, you know. <laughs> I'm standing here astounded, and everybody's just standing around. They think it's the regular thing, you know. No, he's great. Now, let's see. I've lost track of everything. He missed it five dollars. He's gone five steps. All right. What is the price of the swing groove? $30. $30. Is that right? No, it is not. Here he goes. Go, Walter. Yeah, stop at 10. Very good. Now, he can move 15 steps safely. So you will win that great trip to St. Thomas if you don't miss this price by more than $15. The espresso machine, what is it? $65. $65, is that right? No, it is not. Now, he's going up that mountain more here. Showcase Showdown is next. See, it happens, Connor. It happens. The guy was... The guy had plenty of steps to go, and it happens. It happens. All right. Brother, I guess we could um, get the next five people up. What you say? All right. Five more lucky people. Raise your hand if you're waiting to be called. Raise your hand. All right. There we go. All right, we can start. Ladies first. Ladies first. Kirsty, come on down. All right. All right, following Kirsty. What good is one sibling without the other? Caden, come on down. Oh. All right. That's a boy. Come on down. All right. Kiki, come on down. Hey. William, y'all should see William. William must be a prep, prepping and getting him ready. <laughs> yeah, leave a little. Yeah, the so final that name. Seen, so I have in my hand the final name. The last lucky contestant on The Price is Right, 2018. Jaden, come on down, buddy. Yeah, give him a minute. He's updating the board. Jaden, AJ, we need one y'all right here, all right? One, one of them is going right there. One y'all is this lucky contestant. One of them is going right there. Now, we got to find out which one that is. We got to find out who that is. All right, Brendan, give them a number or something to uh, bid on, to guess. All right, we're going to talk about the Apostle Paul for a while here. Already lo AJ says he's already lost. What is this? All right, most of us knows he was first known as Saul. All right, and he was perhaps 
one of Christianity's biggest enemies at one point, right? He persecuted and killed anyone who was a Christian until the Lord converted him on the road to Damascus. You say you lost and you just answered one question. All right. That dig and gave him a name change to Paul and a new purpose in life. To spread the good news of the gospel with the same passion he once had to destroy it. After that, Paul had to endure a lot of persecution and hardship. In 2 Corinthians, he mentions several things that he suffered through for the gospel of Christ. One of them being a shipwreck. He mentions being shipwrecked three times. Well, the story of one of those times is found in the book of Acts. Paul was on his way to Rome to stand trial before Caesar when the ship he was traveling on got caught in the middle of a massive storm at sea that lasted for many days. The storm was so bad, in fact, that it took the ship way off course and they had shipwrecked on the island of, anybody know? Uh, no, Malta. Now, the bo- listen up. The book of Acts just happens to tell us how many people were on board the ship? All right. Can you guess how many it was? Take it away, Adam. How big was the ship? Well, it was heading for Rome, and like I was, I was telling Brendan today, Rome was like the big um, world empire of the day. That was, you heard the saying, all roads lead to Rome. Rome was like the superpower of the day. So, I mean, this, guy, this ship was carrying Paul to stand trial before Caesar in Rome. But the Lord had other plans, at least for the time being, to blew the ship way off course in a shipwreck. So, how many people do you think Paul says in the book of Acts was on board of this ship that was headed to um, Rome? Y'all have got them out. Shipwrecked. All right, what do you think, buddy? 75. 165. All right, go on, Kirsty. 77, all right, 421, all right, 200, Two, wait, 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 are we changing, 200, all right, 200, we stick with that, all right, let's see, it was a big ship, and it had a lot of people on it, but it weren't quite, uh, weren't quite 400, I'm sorry, buddy, the actual number of people that Acts tells us was on the ship when Paul got shipwrecked was 276. And I think that's AJ, eh? I'm finished. I, 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 I go win. I lose right now, yeah. Alright. We got a game here. Let me turn it so everybody can see. We got a game here called the race game. Could you all see these pri- price tags? We're sending um, AJ after not one, not two, not three, but four prizes. Hey, man, this is perfect for you, man. You athletic. When, when Cartwright says run laps around the ball field, you're into track, you're into all of that. No. You're still athletic, though. Race game. We got four things. If you, Who's good at math? If you add these up, guys, this comes to almost $54 worth of prizes if he gets all four. Man, that's some good stuff. And Brandon, let's have the curtain open and let's see what these things are. What could he win? All right, what are they, Brandon? All right. right. First of all, we have a travel mug, a teen study Bible, a Christian pillow. I like that right there. And a pop socket. And a pop socket. You're right, AJ. All right, so let me give you a little more details. First, this travel tumbler is printed with cool That's Matthew 1128 theme designs. All right, it's stainless steel. It is stainless steel line, resists condensation, and holds 16 ounces of your favorite hot or cold beverage. All right. Next, we have the NIV Teen Study Bible. As an on-the-go team, you're moving fast. God is moving faster. This Bible will help you keep in step with all he has done, is doing, and will do in the world and in your life. Thirdly, this 18-inch square pillow 
It's made of 15% cotton, 15% linen, and it's very durable and stylish. A reminder of Paul's words in Philippians 4.13 is printed on both sides. Finally, this pop socket sports the message, Not Today, Satan, and allows your hand to relax while securely holding your phone. The reusable, washable, adhesive sticks to most devices and cases. Not today, Satan. Take it away, Adam. Hey, not today, Satan. He's taking that. He says, well, you could take it if you win. All right, here, what, this game is the race game. We got four items. They over there, we got four racks in front of them. We got four price tags. What do you think you got to do? Put them to the um, correct item. We are going to give you these. Huh? Chapter 17 is for the Bible. You, all right, well, you could put these in whatever order you want. No, the Amazon, my boy. I forgot to tell you, these are all from um, Amazon. Now, hold on. Here's what we do. Listen up. We're going to give you a 45 second timer. You got 45 seconds. This is just like the show. You got 45 seconds when I say go. You got to run and put them all in place where you think they go, and then you run back to Brendan. See the bosser? When, when, you, when you got them in place where you think they go, Brendan, no, 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 no. You just come running back. Hit the buzz on the piano. Brendan will then tell you how many you have right. Hopefully it's four. If it's four, you got them all. If not, you run back and you make changes, and you can keep this up until you got them all right or until your 45 seconds is up. Okay. But whichever ones you have got right at the end of the time is the ones that you will get. I think he understands, eh? Yeah. All right, you, you can put them in the orders what you think that you want them in now. You probably could get an idea from left to right. And listen He's to got the audience. This. Yeah, and listen to the audience. But remember, you only got 45 seconds. Could we get the 45 seconds up on the clock, please? There you go. All right, Charles says the Bible 17. I don't know if you want to listen to him or not. You all ready? Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, boy. You... Hustle boy, hustle boy, 45 seconds. All right. Hit the button. How many? One right. One, one right, right, three wrong. Change figure them. Out, figure change out which them. one is right and change the other three. Change the other three. What is it? Ah, oh boy, you got uh, one right, three wrong. One right, still. Ah. Uh, two right, two wrong. Ah, uh, you changed the right two now, you got it. Oh, is that the time? Not. That's time. That's time. All right. Now, let's find out. How many is it right now, buddy? Two right and two wrong. Well, he gets two of them now. If you could win any two, which one would you like, which would you rather get? Box jockey. Yeah. Pillow. And the pillow. Yeah. All right, let's see. Show. Did he get the travel mug? Show the right, show the right price. Yeah, 1283. So he gets that. What about the Bible? Charles, let's see if Charles was right. Is that 1799? Yep. Yep. So the pillow, the pillow cover was actually 799. And the pop socket was more expensive than you thought, buddy. 1499. But you got two cool, two cool items out of the whole deal. All right, buddy. Music, please. There you go. Now, not everybody who comes on The Price is Right is uh, thrilled to death with what they see they're going to win. Uh, check, check this out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You were looking over there, but you had a, a, an utterly bewildered look on your face. Do you know how, do you know how to play this game? Yeah, I know how to play this game. It's just I don't need them. <laughs> you don't need those things? You don't need those things? Give me my... Come up here and tear these away from him, will you please? I was just what? I was just kidding. Well, you better just be kidding. 
Somebody's got to face off against um, Algins. And it's either, oh, classmates, Connor and AJ, come on up to the front. Let's see. Connor, you spin first. Same rules apply. Two spins if you want. You're trying to get as close to a dollar as possible. And what you get in your first spin will be added to your second spin if you take it. Let's go. Forty-five. Not very close to a dollar. Yeah, do it again. If you spin anything higher than 55 now, you're out. But if you stay on 45, AJ may beat you. What do you want to do, buddy? All right, taking a second spin. 55 now exactly would get you the $1. Oh, stop. Oh, man. Wow. Hey, man, if you would have just not took one, one last bite of supper, you, yeah, that one last bite of supper pushed that over the edge. Yeah, you got one spin to see if you could get the dollar. One spin. Yeah, any day now, any day now, on the dollar, on the dollar, oh, no. But, A.J. does win. All right, and that means A.J. and Ogden is facing off. Check that out, eh? There you go. There you go, brother. Can you keep the win? All right. Welcome now. Welcome back. We are in the showcases now. This is the exciting part of the night. These two is going to be shown two showcases. And whoever bids the closest, you just got to add up all the prices of the items. They are from Amazon, by the way. Add up the prices and give us a bid of what you think it is. And whichever one of you two bids the closest to the right price of your showcase without going over, you'll, you'll be the winner. But if they are less, hey, and this happened last year. Mallory did this last year. If they bid so close that they within $5 without going over, they'll get both showcases. Everything we bring out. It was done last year. Mallory did it. Now, because you're the top winner, you get the right to, um, after we show you the first showcase of prizes, you could say, do you want to keep that and bid on that, or you want to pass that to AJ, and you could see what's in showcase number two. All right, let's go. Are we ready to see showcase number one? All right, ladies, waiting on you. This showcase is designed to make you jump for joy. And to start things off, we're pretty sure you'd jump for joy if you won this $15 gift certificate to the snack bowl. That's right, right? $15 gift certificate. Next, we've got the perfect way to get you jumping for joy right in your own home on this new trampoline. Whoa! Hey! This 36 inch trampoline is a fun and effective way to exercise. It has rugged, all steel frame construction, a heavy duty rebounding surface, and folds down for easy storage when not in use. And. Check this out, guys. Check this out. We think you and a friend would jump at the chance to challenge one another to a game on this new electric mini air hockey table. That is legit, y'all. We've had that running. It plugs in. This no, air hockey not, table is electric powered to maintain even and continuous airflow. The goal boxes easily return the puck and have manual scores above to keep track of who's winning the game. The table is 40 inches long by 20 inches wide and comes with an AC adapter, two fast action round pucks, and two plastic strikers. And this showcase, which was designed to make you jump for joy, Hogan, can be yours if you want it. Maybe you want to pass it, but it can be yours if the price is right. All right, so. Uh, AJ says, what? Want to do back? Well, well, maybe all going to pass it to you. I don't know. If you want the, these things, you could um, bid on this showcase, or you could uh, pass that to AJ and see what's in showcase number two and go after that. It's, but it's your call. 
your pass. AJ, you got your chance for your trampoline, my boy. Connor, Jacob, you'll be playing this um, at AJ's house, man, if he gets this. What was the brand? We could, we could tell you that. I forgot. I, I knew what it was, and I... Stamina. From Stamina, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Stamina Trampoline. Sports Quad for the, um, for the air hockey table is the brand. Boy, AJ wants this badly, man. AJ wants this badly. 95 is the bid. Lock that in, 95. All right. Whatever is in showcase number two is yours, buddy, because you passed on the first one to AJ. All right, let's see what's in showcase number two. All right, ladies, this showcase will show you how to avoid having communication problems. For instance, Shelly has something very important. She wants to tell Deanne, but Deanne's not hearing a word of it because she's too busy using her new headphones. From Artix, these headphones offer high quality stereo sound and are foldable for convenient storage when not in use. They include a built-in microphone, which can adjust volume, play and pause music, answer and end phone calls right from your headset. The three and a half millimeter jack fits all standard devices. And now, we see Deanne's done with the headphones. And now Deanne is ready to listen to Shelly. But the problem now is that she can't understand a word Shelly saying. Because while waiting for Deanne, Shelly got bored. And she started to play around with her new game of Watch Your Mouth. And Deanne don't know what she's saying. Watch Your Mouth is a hilarious mouth guard game in which players wear their own mouth openers and rare random nonsense phrases for their team to interpret. They read the phrases. Be warned, be warned, y'all. Stomach cramping, eye-watery laughter is a very frequent occurrence. This includes 143 phrase cards, a 60-second timer, and 10 mouth openers. So finally, the two girls realize they gotta find a better way to communicate. And Shelly thinks she's got it. They can just send and receive messages to one another using their new Fire tablet. It's a Fire HD8 16 gig tablet from Amazon with an eight inch display, stereo speakers, and long lasting battery. Alexa is on hand, as always, to provide quick access to information you want using your voice. Enjoy millions of songs, apps, games, and more with up to 12 hours of battery life. And this showcase, Ogans, with Shelly and Deanne have finally sorted out their communication difficulties, but now might have bigger problems. This can be yours, Ogans, if the price is right. Yeah, bigger problems is right. I didn't think they was ever going to um, decide who uses the tablet next. All right, bring the items out again so we can just see. Reminder, we got headphones, cool headphones. They go perfect with the tablet, Ollie. Perfect, man. You got headphones. You got, this is fresh, buddy. We have played this several times when we get together with, with, with people. This is a fun party game. Watch your mouth. And we got a 16, 16 gig fire tablet. What do you think? You got to add up those three and give a bid. What you think is the cost of your showcase? 125? All right, 125 is this bid. Got that locked in. All right, well, somebody's, somebody's going to win their showcase and go home with some good stuff. All right, let me start with. Ali first, the actual price of the headphones, the tablet, and the watch your mouth is, ooh, man, you went over. 125, he said it was one, it was 117. Ooh. 117. 
Now, he's going over. Provided you didn't go over, you win your showcase. He bid 95. Am I correct? 95. And the actual retail price, what? Guess what? It's happened again tonight. He was within $5. $4 away. 99. 99. He gets both showcases. He got all six items, man. He was within $5. It was 99. He bid 95. He was only $4 off. He gets all six items. He says he loses. All gets bad. Hey, thanks for participating. You got the speakers, man. You got the speakers. Thanks for participating. AJ is the man of the night. AJ will be doing the backflips on the beach or not, my boy. All right. AJ is a big winner. Now. All right, this is The Price is Right. Thanks for uh, coming. This is Adam Pender saying help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered, and enjoy your midterm break. See you guys next week. Did you all enjoy the night? Yeah, so did I. Yeah, so did I. And don't forget, all everybody that was in contestant's row that didn't win, you come to me, we got a consolation prize for you, all right, when we dismiss. <laughs>